Hi, I'm Lee County Sheriff Kwame Marcino. This week is National Forensic Science Week. I'd like to give you a first-hand look at how our forensic division solves crimes and puts criminals behind bars. The importance of the fingerprints is that they're eclectic. No fingerprint has ever been found to be the same, even in identical twins. Their DNA can be the same, but not their fingerprints. That's the great part about having and working in fingerprints because you know they're eclectic and you know that person, if you make a hit, they actually did the crime. Some agencies actually have crime scene techs that actually do latents. But I think because of our capacity in which we cover in the county, we have to have it separate. So we have a crime scene unit and a latent unit. So when a crime occurs, we have our crime scene to go out to that crime scene, lift fingerprints, and then they bring it to us to analyze. And what they do is once they lift the latents, they turn into evidence. We get the prints from evidence and we deem them sufficient or insufficient. If we don't have suspects that the detectives have submitted to look at, that's when APHIS comes into play. And what happens is we take those latents, if they are of APHIS quality, we will enter those latents, as you can see here, we will enter those latents into our database and it will search all the people that have been arrested in Lee County against that particular crime. And the great thing about the APHIS system is, is that even though that print may not hit, every time a person gets arrested, that print is actually going through, constantly recycling itself just to see if we could possibly get a hit. We have to be able to bring the scene as we see it that day into the courtroom. The end goal is the courtroom and um, justice for the victim and for the families. The documentation, of course, we start out with anything that's least invasive to the most invasive of the processing. Least invasive would be our crime scene photography, doing a sketch of the scene, taking our crime scene notes that would help us later to transcribe them into a um, crime scene report. Most invasive is where we get into any type of searching or chemical processing at the scene. It could be chemical processing for latent, it could be for processing for blood, or other biological fluids at the scene. Our documentation has to present the scene to the jury and the judge as we saw it that day. Everything that we do is to preserve the scene. Depending upon how extensive the scene is, sometimes we're on scene, it could be three or four days. We have evidence markers that get placed on items of evidence. And that does two different things in the documentation phase. One, it helps keep the technician organized at what they're doing. Two, it also that marker when you're in court and there's photographs taken. If I just had a bunch of stuff on the floor and took a photograph, you as the juror now don't really know what is it in that pile of items are we trying to point out to you. But the minute I put a marker on a knife or a gun, it draws your eye in to say, oh, I see what they want us to look at. The smallest piece of evidence can make the biggest difference. 